Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in B.C. and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like our old days. It is, isn't it? And we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. Time to meet our next Miracle Maker panel. And these guys have raised a lot of money for a children's hospital. At the end, we have Julianne Tu, who is with Brooks Brothers. She is the store fundraising coordinator. And this is Julianne's first year on the panel. Next to Julianne is Rita Wong. And Rita is an employee with Brooks Brothers. This is also Rita's first year on the panel. Welcome to both of you. Tristan Hilligren is a store employee with Safeway. And this is his second time joining us on the panel. And then we have Carolyn Kropp, who is also with Safeway, and this is her first time on the panel. Hi, Carolyn. Claude Gauthier is next up. He's the Vice President of Sales for National Importers Canada. This is Claude's fifth year on the panel and his fifth year with the Retail and Wholesale Committee. And then next up, we have Cheryl Whithoff, who's the Vice President of Accurate Electric Limited, and this is her first year on the panel. Sean McNaughton is next. Sean is the Western Canada Manager of Business Development for Wallace and Kerry Inc., and this is Sean's very first year as a Retail and Wholesale Committee member and his first year as a Miracle Maker panelist. We want to get all these folks on the phone. And then finally, Sean Loftus is the Director of Retail Training Implementation with Overweighty Food Group and Save on Foods and Chair of the Retail and Wholesale Committee. That is a long business card. And Sean, it's your 10th year with the committee, but you've been supporting BC Children's Hospital for many years before that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. We saw the check presentation earlier, six point six million dollars from you guys that's uh, that's incredible how do you do it yes unbelievable well the way we do it on the retail wholesale committee is with the over 200 retailers and uh, su suppliers that we have and uh, it's really grassroots it's grassroots we're, we're out there raising a dollar at a time in our stores uh, with the support of our vendors and our customers of course and you guys, I mean, normally you're competitors, you know, you all work for different companies, so, but this is great that you guys come together like this. One more thing I want to ask you is why, you know, you've been doing this for so many years. What brings you back year after year? Well, there's just no better cause. There's, there's nobody that helps kids more in BC. And I've got three kids myself, and uh, my family's growing. I got uh, five grandkids right now. So, uh, you know, I, I want to make, I, very luckily, none of my kids have had to use the hospital. But uh, it's just such a fabulous place to bring kids that uh, it, there's no other charity that's more important. And, uh, and you know, you haven't had to use it, but thankfully it's here. Thank you very much to all of you. All right, we are here with the uh, Retail and Wholesale Division. Sean Loft, just the chair of the Retail and Wholesale Division Committee is here. So talk a little bit, this is a, a group of, of, of companies. Absolutely, we've got over 200 companies that come together, Retail and Wholesale, to raise money for BC Children's Hospital. Why, why BC Children's Hospital all these years? Oh, well, you, you couldn't think of uh, a better group to raise for. Um, we see stuff every day where the, ch the hospital's helping kids mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, that's who, who else, right? Yeah. Now, how easy is it to get people involved in this as far as, the, you know, the customers and, and I'm sure they just love to make a donation to the hospital? You know what, that's, that's, that's what it's all about for us. It's all grassroots fundraising. Uh, we've got hundreds and uh, hundreds and hundreds of suppliers that support us, but as well, we've got hundreds of thousands of customers that come into our stores and it's those people that help us a dollar at a time grassroots to raise all the money that we raise throughout the year. And, and that's an important point is throughout the year. It's not, you know, one big fundraiser. There's a lot of things going on uh, in all different stores. Oh, there's so many things going on in, in, in all the different retailers at different times throughout the year. So we're very, very lucky to have the customers that we have. Yeah. I actually was in uh, two of the of the committee stores and I actually, I said, you know, at the cash register, they go, can you want help? I said, sure. And then I went to the next one and they said, can you help as well? I said, oh, I'll do it again. Why not? <laughs> Which is what you want, right? That's exactly what we want. <laughs> just just a nice, easy ask. And, and, and our customers are so generous. Yeah. They're so generous. It's, sure. it's We couldn't do what we did do today with other suppliers and our customers. And talk a little bit about the staff of all those uh, companies as well. Well, it's, it's, it's those people on the front lines that, that come up with these innovative ideas on how to raise money a dollar at a time. We're selling 
icons. We're doing hot dog sales. Uh, we're sponsoring people. We're doing pie eating content. There's just so many things that they do year in and year out. It's just fantastic. And then we're out there doing roundup. We're rounding up at the tills and asking customers for that. We're doing golf tournaments. Uh, there's just so many. There's things. lots. Oh, <laughs> you can't right. them. Well, there's that many, and then there's got to be a big total. So let's uh, we'll get in front of here with the kids. I know they're going to turn around. Okay, you guys ready to go? Okay, here we go. We got a three, a four, one, nine, nine, six, and a six. Six million, six hundred. Well, thank you very much for the retail and wholesale division. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Overweighty Food Group for helping me get the best care possible, closer to where I live. Costco fundraises to help make kids like me healthier. Thank you. I can do kids stuff too. Retailers of BC, you rock! I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. Mm -hmm. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere and I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born, it was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yeah. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero. zero. Thank 
you very Party. much, British Columbia. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Alex. Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful lies. You can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, oh yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you and peace comes to you from above. Miracles happen.